Hey, this is Mikey Borup with PremiumBeat.com for another After Effects tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do this cool stripey transition. Okay, so this transition is really easy to do and it's using shape layers. Now, before I begin, I just want to let you know that if you have any questions, feel free to just put those in the comments. I do read these questions, I do follow along on the blog and on Vimeo on YouTube, so if you have any questions for me directly, just go ahead and ask them in the questions, in the comments, and I will get to them. So this is made using shape layers, and I'm going to show you how to make this transition, and I'm going to also show you how to maybe do something to it to turn it into a preset where you can, I don't know, use it again and again and again really easily. So first let's create a new composition, call it Stripes. Mine's just five seconds long. What you want to do first is just create your first shape layer. And so I'm just going to use the rectangle tool, make a shape layer, and make that stripe right down the middle. And try to make it about as tall as your uh, composition is. Now once I have that layer in, that first shape, I'm going to come into the contents of the shape layer under rectangle one go to transform rectangle one and right here where it says position I'm just gonna center that so just zero it out on both of them now this is the first layer that's gonna zoom up you know kinda fly up in the example so I want it to start down and I want it to end here so let me go forward in time I went forward 10 frames and I'm going to keyframe the position of this let's go back to the beginning maybe just one frame off and then let's now move this down off the, the frame and you can see it's moving up and maybe I want a little bit faster so I'm going to move these keyframes closer together okay now let's highlight these let's go to keyframe assistant easy ease and then let's hit this graph button right here zoom in a little bit closer and I'm going to take this last point I just clicked on it and there's a handle here and I'm going to just pull this over to the left and what this is going to do is it's going to make it really fast at the beginning and then kind of slow down at the end and that's kind of the look I want to go for this maybe even drag it out the animation a little bit longer okay so that's the first animation now we just need to put in the other squares or the other rectangles so what I'm going to do is I'm going to label this first one top stripe. Now let's add in another rectangle. So click, make sure your shape layer is selected. If it's not selected, it'll just create a new layer. But I want to create shapes within this same shape layer. Go to my rectangle tool, just create another rectangle. Let's move it to below that top stripe. Let's open that up, go to the fill, let's give it a different color so we can recognize it. And then as the same thing, let's go in and zero this one out. And instead of transforming the position on this one, I'm going to transform the scale. So I'm going to unlock um, the constrained proportions so I can see I can bring it in just the width. Let's bring that down to zero. And then after this first stripe comes up, let's keyframe the scale to out to, well, not 100%. It's got to go more than 100%. That's 700%. Maybe that's a little slow. I like to always uh, preview my animations to see if it's fast enough. And I kind of like that, so I'm going to highlight these again. Let's go back into Keyframe Assistant, Easy Ease, and maybe a little bit closer together. Let's go back into the Graph Editor and then do the same thing. But with this one, I need to grab, um, it looks a little bit different, so I need it's this red, and I need to grab this top handle right here move it over to the left. Let's go back into the graph. 
Let's move that out a little bit. Maybe just a little bit more. I kind of like it when it... Okay. All right. So that's the initial animation. Now to add in the other colors, it's as simple as just taking this rectangle. I'm going to duplicate it two times. Let's go into the fill. Let's change the color on each one. So rectangle two, change to a blue. Rectangle three, let's go to a pink. This is going to be very colorful. And now let's go in and change, adjust these keyframes. So this first one, remember it was the scale. So I'm just going to highlight both of these and move it over. Let's go back into rectangle three. Highlight these and move them so they come after these keyframes here. You can see the little dots. And it just kind of flashes across. And after the pink starts going across, I want this purple to now start to widen. So let's go back into the original top stripe. Now let's keyframe the scale. Turn off the little um, constrained proportions, the little chain that chains them together. Let's go forward in time. And let's stretch it out wide. And I'm going to do the same thing I did with the others. Let's go in and turn this to easy ease. Go into the graph. Take the handle over. And that's the transition. So what can we do th with this to make this easier to use in the long run? Well, let me turn on motion blur because everything is better with motion blur. Okay. So, um, and just, you know, just so you know how I did it to get the words to kind of transition on the same way. Let's go in here and color stripes. Center that, and let's get a mask. And I kind of masked right down the center. Then I come into this mask expansion, bring that in. Let's go to where we want to start expanding, about right here. Keyframe the mask expansion, move out, and have it move out. And then let's go ahead and add motion blur to this layer as well. And you can see it just kind of expands in the same kind of animation style as the rest of the stripes. So what can we do to this? Well first off let's add a color controller. So I'm going to click on my shape layer. Let's go to effect, expression controls, and color control. So what I want to do is let's start with this top layer and then go to the fill. I'm going to hold down option or alt on the keyboard click on the stopwatch and take this pick whip and grab that color. And what that does is it now changes that top color. And I don't want that red. I want that back to the purple color. And so if I want to, I can take this layer, duplicate it, move it somewhere else, and then change the color to something different. And now I've got two transitions. And it was, it was that easy. And because I've attached this controller before I duplicated it, I can now easily go in here and change this color really easily. Now I can also, if I want to, add color controls to every single layer. But I'm really just mostly concerned about the final color. Um, all the other ones, mm, I don't need to change as much. But if you want all that control, you just need to add more controls and link it to it the same way I did. Now what I want to do is I want to turn this into a preset. And presets are really easy to do. So let me go into this shape layer. And what I want to do is I want to highlight all of the things that I want to keep the same for my preset, which is all my contents, which is all of these layers in here, these shape contents, and then this effect. So I'm going to highlight contents and effect. 
and I just held down command on my keyboard to highlight both of them. Then I'm going to go over to my presets. And then I click this button right here on the right and say save animation preset. Give it a name. Now what I can do is I'm going to just turn off this layer and I'm going to create a new shape layer. I'm going to have it selected. Go into my presets. Find my stripes preset I just created, drag it and drop it right onto the shape layer. And now everything's there, including, see, the contr color control. So I've just easily created this uh, preset with these shape layers. And now I can use this transition wherever I want. So there's a lot of stuff you can do with this. I hope you learned a lot. Um, if you have any questions, again, just put those down in the comments below on the blog or on Vimeo or on YouTube. And if you're looking for some great sound effects or stock music, go to premiumbeat.com. And also check out their blog. There's lots of video production tutorials and, of course, After Effects tutorials, which are top-notch. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.